for this demo, you're going to want your faces booklet as well as the handout. You're going to want a couple number two pencils. And some of you will already have art pencils. If you do, take out your HB art pencil, which is the same as number two. You're going to want a plastic eraser as well as a pencil sharpener. If you're in class or at a coffee shop or something, it's nice to have a pencil sharpener that has a lid on there, and especially if you have one where it will close up so then you don't lose dust on the tables. If you're working at home, you might already have like a more professional artist pencil sharpener, so if you want, you can use that. And then you're gonna want some kind of a clear ruler it doesn't necessarily have to be your actual sewing ruler, but if you already own one of these, let's go ahead and use that one. If you don't, you probably have just a generic clear ruler, something like this already at home. So go ahead and sharpen your pencil. And inside of your handout, the worksheet, if you come in here to the very first page, page one, there's already a layout to do a basic generic face. And since this is copy paper and you can see through it, sometimes the next page underneath is showing through and it's a little bit distracting. So if you're gonna work on this page, you might wanna have a blank piece of paper behind it so it's easier to see this. If you don't have any of these handouts, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first show you how to do this layout on a blank piece of paper. So to get this layout, what we're gonna do is, on a blank piece of paper, five inches wide by eight inches tall. So on your paper, come in an inch from the edge and draw a straight line and then on that straight line, we want to have a stopping point somewhere before the top. And then you can measure down eight inches. And I want you to make sure that you have some room above and below. So put this somewhere in the middle of your page. So this is our eight inches tall. We want to do five inches wide. So come in here and measure out five inches and make sure you're fairly square. It's okay if it's not totally perfect for this. So now I have my five inch, my eight inches down by five inches wide. The next thing we want to do is we want to split it in half vertically as well as horizontally. So going vertically what you can do is along the horizontal line measure two and a half inches down here at the bottom and then repeat that here at the top and connect those and now we've split this in half vertically and then going along the vertical line if you measure four inches here here and here then we can split this in half horizontally Now what we're gonna do is, you can use your worksheet now, go ahead, if you have one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and use this to save this one for another time. Inside of your pamphlet, on the first page here, we're talking a little bit about line quality. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come back to that before we start drawing our eyes and nose and mouth. For now, what we wanna do is, we want to go ahead and get started on placing the plot marks and guidelines before we draw a face. So basically when we're done, it's going to look something like this. Later on in time, when you start drawing your faces, 
you're not going to be using rulers all the time. As soon as possible, I want you to get used to not using the ruler, but understanding the measurements itself. What we're going to do is we're going to use our pencil and our finger to set up measurements and repeat those measurements. So just for practice, I want you to try this. If you come right here to the center line and bring the tip of your pencil to that point. So this is the vertical part and the horizontal part. So the tip of your pencil is right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two fingers and bring them so they are lined up with this vertical line. So I have this vertical line plus my pencil tip on that vertical line. And then what I can do is I can move my fingers with the pencil now to this center vertical line and the pencil tip matches perfectly on this one. So where I'm holding my pencil is exactly half of the width of her face. So this is a way that I can do a measurement without actually using a ruler. Let's go ahead and try the same thing vertically. So bring your pencil along the vertical line here to the horizontal line. Have the tip of the pencil stop right there. Put your fingers on the pencil right at this line here. So now I can move this all the way to exactly here. And then I see the tip of my pencil matches there. This is really important that you understand this because we're going to go ahead and start using this right now. So when you look inside your booklet, I'm going to be calling out, for instance, step two, we're finding the eye line. And then A is a plot mark somewhere out here. So as we go along, I'll be saying things like go down to the eye line and out on the outer edges, put a dot and label it A, put another dot and label it A. And then you can follow in the directions this is what I'm saying right here. If you don't have the pamphlet and you're not following with this, you can just follow along as I'm doing the lesson and plot exactly like we're saying during the lesson. This horizontal line in the middle of her head is her eye line. So come out to the edge here, make a little arrowhead, and let's label this eye line. Now what we want to do is, where the eye line is out here at the side of the face, I want you to make a dot and put the letter A on the outside of the face and come to the other side because this is a mirror. And we're going to put a dot there and label it A on the outside as well. And this would be here. So it's right at the cheekbone at eye level here and cheekbone eye level there. So this is A, A. The next thing we want to do is we want to find this middle between the center of the face and going to A. So somewhere in the middle here. What we're going to do is we're going to just guess and then we're going to check it. So for instance, I'm going to guess I think this is the middle here. And then I can come in and I can measure from the cheekbone to that mark. And then I'm going to repeat from that mark to the center line. And I can see here the tip of my pencil is going a little too far. So I know that this line is a titch, or this dot is that's on the eye line, it's a titch too far that way. So I'll make another one just a little bit back. And I'll come in, I'll double check. And that one's correct, the new one I just did. So I'm going to make that a little bit darker and label it B. I want to do the same thing on the opposite side. So from the center of the face, halfway to A is going to be dot B. Now if you want to just double check yourself. So this should be one inch and one quarter. 
So from A to B, one inch and one quarter. And then again, going from B to the center of the face, one inch and one quarter. From the center of the face back to B, an inch and a quarter, inch and a quarter. So go ahead and make sure yours is accurate right now. The next thing we want to do is we want to find C. So this is going to be on either side of point B. How we find this is basically we're going to go from B halfway over to A. Check it. And then we're going to go from B halfway back to the center of the face. And check that as well. and then make them a little darker and label these C. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now if you've done this correctly, each one of these should be 5 eighths of an inch. So don't be afraid to go ahead and draw these in dark as well as clearly writing in the letters here. Because when we're done, we're going to leave it like this. We're not going to draw a face on this one just yet. We're just learning the plot marks for our locations, and then later on we'll do a new clean one to make a face. Basically, what you're looking at here is C to C is the inside and outside of her eye, and B is going to be the center of the black on her pupil. And then you'll notice the distance from C to C is the same here, and the distance C to C is same there and same there. So again, we have two eyes, and they're exactly one eye width apart. And then you have half of an eye on the outside. The next thing we want to do is, now that we have the eye line set, we want to start coming down the face to find where's the tip of her nose and the bottom of her bottom lip. So above your eye line, let's go ahead, ahead and draw an arrow, and we're going to label this skull. And down at the bottom here, let's go ahead and label this chin. So this is the top of her skull, and this is her chin. Now what we're going to do is from the eye line moving down, we have the tip of her nose, the center of her mouth, and the bottom of her bottom lip. And we want to find some formulas to find those locations. So let's go ahead and let's go from the eye line to the chin, and we want to find a halfway point. So go ahead and take a guess, and then measure to see if you were correct. And if it needs to be fixed, go ahead and fix that. And then if you want to double check with your ruler, this is going to be 2 inches, 2 inches. And then we're going to label this D. The next one we're going to do is going to go from D, which was the tip of her nose, D halfway down to the chin. So what's the halfway point? So from here to here, I'm going to guess here, and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to check until I get it right. And then what the measurement is, is it should be one inch, one inch. And then we're going to label this E. Now, in general, E is going to be the bottom of her bottom lip, and D is going to be the tip of her nose. But realistically, the tip of her nose is a little bit above D, but we'll get to that in a minute. The next thing we want to do is between D and E 
is going to be the center of her mouth. And if you want to check it with your measurements, it's half of an inch. And also get used to measuring using just your hand and your pencil. So this halfway point is going to be F, and it's going to be the center of her mouth. So we want to actually take F and move it all the way out to the edges here. So something that you can do is you can measure from the chin up to F, and then come out here to the sides of her faces and get that same distance. And you can also use your ruler, come in here and measure from the chin up to F, and you'll see it was one inch and one half. And this is the center of her mouth. So out here, we'll label it center mouth. Also out here on the jawline, just like we did with A, I want to come down here and label this F. So it's F right here, F there, and F out here. Out here where the center of the mouth hits the jawline, I want you to also put two dots there. So same as there's two dots at A, there should be two dots out here at F. So now that we established where D is, which was basically halfway between her eye line and her chin. The tip of the nose, like I've said, is a little bit above that. So go ahead and just freehand a little bit above that. It's just a little bit of a scoop, like a little half moon scoop. And then label this G. And if you want, you could even make D smaller or lighter because G is more important. The next thing I want to establish is this is the center of her mouth. But we, we need to know how wide is her mouth. You take the outside corners of her eyes, so these outside corners, and you're going to connect that back to her chin right at the center of the face. So outside corners to the chin, center of the face, will let you know how wide the mouth is. So taking your ruler, go from the outside C and draw a light line all the way to the chin at the center. And then again, do the mirror opposite. So the outside C connects back to the chin at the center of her face. After we've done that, Then, along the center of the mouth, we can come up here and put two dots so you know how wide the mouth is. So again, here's F connecting to F. That's the center of the mouth. And where this triangle is crossing the center of the mouth, that's how wide it is. So go ahead and put a dot there and a dot there. And then let's label this F and F. And then this F that's here in the middle of the mouth, we kind of really don't need that one anymore. The most important ones was how wide is the mouth and also the F's out here on the edges. The reason that these F's are important is because as your jawline comes down, it takes a dramatic turn inward. And where this turn happens is right here at the center of the mouth. So this is that location F and F where your jaw comes down and starts turning in quickly. The next thing we want to know about this jawline is where it comes down to the chin area. Now if you'll notice, everybody's chin flattens out at the very bottom here. So you don't have a pointy chin. It comes down to a little flat spot here. So you can see on this model here, it's 
rounded, but it's still kind of flat. Same one here. It's this location down in this area. Now a formula for finding two points down here. So then after you hit F and you start to angle towards the chin, you'll know what you're aiming for. What we can do is we can take the width of the mouth and divide this in half and come down to the chin and that'll give you a nice width for the base of her chin. So let's go ahead and erase this little F that's inside of here. And what we want to do is we want to go from the width of her mouth halfway back to center and then the same thing on this side so halfway back then what we can do is this is half of how wide her mouth is if we bring this down to her chin we'll know how wide her chin is so using your ruler you can go ahead and square down this 3 8 put a mark at the chin and put the letter H and then do the same thing on the other side so H and H and if it's helpful if you want you could do dotted lines So then you can see in your booklet here, if you want, you could put dotted lines to have H, half of the mouth, coming down to her chin. And then you can see on your model that this would be H, H right here, and that would be half of the width of her mouth. The next thing we want to find on our girl was where that hairline was. So where is this hair growing out of the forehead area? So come back up here to the eye line area. And what we're going to do is we're going to go halfway back to the skull. And if you remember, this is two inches. But if you were just freehanding, you could always find here's halfway to the skull, halfway to the eye line to double check your work. And we're going to label that eye. And then from eye going to the skull, we want to find another halfway point. And this will be one inch. And label that J. And this J location is going to be here. It's her hairline. And what we'll do is we'll draw a line for the hairline and we'll label it. So at J, go ahead and lightly draw a line across the whole face. Come out here and let's label this hair line. 